Round two, category four. Hashtag, we are NATO, the Alliance at 70. Quiet, please. One, NATO's first Secretary General described the Alliance's, Alliance's mission as, quote, to keep the Soviet Union out, the Americans in, and the Germans down. What's his name? A, Joseph Lunds. B, Lord Hastings Lionel Ismay. C, Dirk Sticker, D. Paul Henry Spock. Question two. Which of the following triggered the first deployment of NATO military assets in support of an Article Five operation? A, Hungarian Revolution of 1956. B, Prague Spring, 1968. C, Bosnian War, 1992 to 1995. D, after the 9-11 terrorist attacks against the U.S. in 2001. Question three, at the NATO summit in Brussels in July 2018, President Trump insisted that NATO countries should double their defense spending to what percentage of GDP? A, 2%, B, 3%, C, 4%, D, 5%. Question four. In September 1993, the last group of Soviet troops left Poland, which marked a great victory for which former Polish president? A, Lech Kaczynski, B, Matusz Morawiecki, C, Lech Wałęsa, D, Beata Szydło. Question five, NATO has put collective defense measures in place at the request of Turkey for all of the following except, A, during the Gulf War of 1991, B, in response to the Syria situation in 2012, C, during crisis in Iraq in 2003, D, during the overthrow of Colonel Gaddafi in Libya in 2011.
Question six. What has recently eroded Republican support of the NATO alliance? A, White House criticism of the alliance. B, the leadership of Secretary General Hens Stoltenberg. C, failure to admit Ukraine as a member. D, internal corruption within the alliance. Question seven, how long is the NATO Secretary General's term of office? A, two years, B, three years, C, four years, D, five years. Question eight, NATO works with over blank, non-member, and other outside organizations. A, 70, B, 64, C, 53, D, 40. Question nine, once the Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany, was permitted to join NATO in 1955, the Soviet Union formed its own regional alliance with seven Central and Eastern European countries. It was called the blank. A, Council for Mutual Economic Assistance. B, Non-Atlantic Treaty Organization. C, Warsaw Pact. D, Collective Security Treaty Organization. Question 10. From 1949 to 1989, what was the main purpose of NATO? A, rebuild Europe after World War II. B, deter the Soviet Union. C, prevent increases in member countries' defense budgets. D, bring new countries into the organization as members. That concludes category four. Please hold your answer sheets up high so the scorekeepers can collect them.
Are there any answer sheets remaining to be collected? No more answer sheets? Great. Category five, great decisions. Question one, what was Turkey's main objection to U.S. funding for the Syrian Democratic Union Party, PYD, in 2017? A, the PYD has close links with Iranian military leaders. B, the PYD closely follows American methods of warfare. C, the PYD is a part of the Kurdistan Workers Party, PKK, which Turkey classifies as a terrorist group. D, the PYD includes former members of President Erdogan's government. Question two, which of the following is not a territorial dispute that has occurred during Russian President Vladimir Putin's time in office? A, Crimea, Ukraine. B, Abkhazia and South Ossetia, Georgia. C, Chechnya, Russia. D, Baku, Azerbaijan. Question three, Nelson Mandela, considered one of the most respected world figures of the 20th century, was a member of which political party that has ruled South Africa since his 1994 presidential inauguration? A, United Democratic Movement. B, Organization of African Unity. C, African National Congress. D, United Party of Peace. Question four. In July 2017, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Microsoft, Google, and Snapchat started the Global Internet Forum to counter blank. A, drugs. B, terrorism. C, political interference. D, sex trafficking. Question five, what era has the world recently entered according to a former Chinese Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs? A, post-American era, B, China First era, C, Belt and Road era, D, America Alone era.
Six, there are many examples of documented health disparities between rich and poor countries. How many years is the gap in life expectancies between Japan and Sudan? A, 18 years. B, 21 years. C, 29 years. D, 34 years. Question seven. Political scientist Joseph Nye coined what term to describe a country's capacity to influence another without military force? A, hard power. B, soft power. C, military rebalancing. D, unilateral preeminence. Question eight. In a July 2017 poll, what percentage of Turkey's population believed the United States was the number one security threat? A, 48%, B, 56%, C, 68%, D, 72%. Question nine, what is the name for the foreign policy strategy regarding military power that the Obama administration articulated in its 2015 national security strategy? A, leading from behind, B, strategic patience, C, America first, D, peace through strength. Question 10. In hopes of establishing itself as a regional economic player in Europe, Russia created what body? A, Union of Eastern European States, the UEES, B, Eastern European Union, EEU, C, Eurasian Economic Union, EEU, D, Trans-European Partnership, TEP. That concludes category five. Please raise your answer sheets high so the scorekeepers can collect them.
Are there any more answer sheets remaining to be collected? Thank you. Category six, the U.S.-Japan alliance. Question one, despite Trump's 2016 campaign attacks on the cost of basing U.S. troops in Japan, American public opinion supports these long-term bases. Japan, in 2015, paid blank in host nation support, representing blank of total basing costs. A, 53 billion yen, 19%. B, 76 billion yen, 35%. C, 103 billion yen, 51%. D, 191 billion yen, 86%. Question two, regarding trade policy, the difference in emphasis between statements made by President Trump and Prime Minister Abe in September 2018 can best be summarized as A, reciprocal trade versus free rules-based trade, B, reducing trade deficits versus preservation of market access, C, reciprocal trade versus protection of intellectual property rights, D, reducing trade deficits versus protections for textile pro products, producers. Question three, Japan passed new security laws in 2015 allowing its self-defense forces to exercise collective self-defense in which of the following scenarios? A, defending U.S. naval ships from attack in any circumstance. B, using force to settle an ally's international dispute. C, intercepting ballistic missiles targeting the U.S. and U.S. bases in the Pacific theater. D, none of the above. Question four. In February 2017, President Trump and Prime Minister Abe affirmed that the U.S.-Japan Treaty of Mutual Cooperation and Security covers which island chain claimed by Japan? A, Natuna Regency. B, Kuril Islands, the Northern Territories. C, Senkaku Islands. D, Spratly Islands. Question five, which market has been, been identified as, quote, the real target and, quote, launching stage of the government-sponsored Cool Japan movement? A, China, B, Southeast Asia, C, the United States, D, Latin America.
Question six. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's Abenomics reforms have produced modest economic growth in all of the following areas except A, global demand for high-tech electronics, B, robotics and labor-saving technology, C, tourism, D, consumer spending. Question seven. Japan's leadership in the new Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, CPTPP or TPP 11, seeks to ensure that a blank, blank, and blank economic order is upheld and advanced. A, rules-based, high standard, liberal. B, rules-based, class standard, conservative. C, quota-based, high standard, conservative. D, quota-based, classic standard, liberal. Question eight, which two issues are priorities for the Japanese public, according to a Kyoto news survey after the September 2018 re-election of Shinzo Abe? A, economic policies, constitutional revision. B, pensions and health care, economic policies. C, diplomacy and security, disaster management. D, diplomacy and security, financial reconstruction and tax policy. Question nine, how many years after the end of World War II did it take for the United States to sign the Civil Liberties Act, which issued a formal apology to Japanese Americans placed in internment camps? A, 12 years, B, 28 years, C, 43 years, D, 63 years. Question 10. Justice Hugo Black, in his majority opinion for the landmark case Korobatsu versus United States, wrote, quote, all legal restrictions which curtail the civil rights of a single racial group are blank. A, unconstitutional. B, morally unjustifiable. C, justified in extreme conditions. D, immediately suspect.
That concludes Category 6. Please raise your answer sheets high so the scorekeepers can collect them. Are there any more answer sheets to be collected? There being none, we will start Category 7, Space Policy. Question 1. Which is not one of the four pillars of President Trump's national space strategy? A. Transform to more resilient space architecture. B. Strengthen deterrence and warfighting options. C foster friendly domestic and international environments. D, build trust and legitimacy in U.S. space policy. Question two. The idea of a military force dedicated to outer space was first proposed by a re military reform commission led by blank. A, Donald Rumsfeld. B, Dick Cheney. C, Condoleezza Rice. D, Colin Powell. Question three, conventional satellites transmit information via radio and microwave signals. What Chinese satellite launched in 2016 was the first to be equipped with quantum capabilities that could one day transfer encrypted hack-proof data? A, Tiangong-1, B, China Sat-9, C, Michia Satellite, D, Double Star Satellite. Question four. According to the UN Committee on Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, how much of the global space economy is made up of commercial space activities? A, 48%, B, 58%, C, 76%, D, 89%. Question five, 
Russia-U.S. cooperation on the International Space Station is hindered by systemic obstructions such as Russia's aggressive policy towards its neighbors and blank. A, dwindling space reserve funds. B, declining status of Russia's space industry. C, loss of public support. D, none of the above. Question six, the EU's second flagship space program, Copernicus, is used to provide blank and blank. A, geospatial and early warning information. B, security oversight and defense systems. C, systems strengthening and technical support. D, high alert systems and offensive frameworks. Question seven, while the idea of creating a Space Force branch drew attention and excitement, U.S. military presence in space is already handled by which branch of the U.S. Armed Forces? A, U.S. Coast Guard, B, U.S. Navy, C, U.S. Marines, D, U.S. Air Force. Question eight, which of the following billionaires has not expressed interest in investing in the space industry and travel? A, Jeff Bezos, B, Mark Zuckerberg, C, Elon Musk, D, Igor Asher Bailey. Question nine, approximately how much would it cost to fund both the Space Force and Space Command over the next five years? A, $5 billion, B, $9 billion, C, $13 billion, D, $20 billion. Question 10, which country put the first human in space? A, United States, B, Poland, C, Czechoslovakia, D, Soviet Union.
That concludes round seven. Please raise your answer sheets high so the scorekeepers can collect them. And I'd like to ask a volunteer to uh, come up and the young lady at the table right there, there you go. Come on up. Jasmine Weary, I'm from Canyon Crest Academy in San Diego, California. So the first question, um, NATO's first Secretary General described the Alliance's mission as to keep the Soviet Union out, the Americas in, and the Germans down. What's his name? So Lord Hastings, Lionel Ismay. Uh, two, which of the following triggered the first deployment of NATO military assets in support of an Article 5 operation? D, after the 9-11 terrorist attacks in the U.S. in 2001. Three, at the NATO summit in Brussels in July 2018, President Trump insisted that NATO countries should double their defense spending to what percentage of the GDP? Four percent. Four, in September 1993, the last group of Soviet troops left Poland, which marked a great victory for which former Polish president? Uh, Lech Wałysa. Um, five, NATO has put collective defense measures in place at the request of Turkey for all of the following except D, during the overthrow of Colonel Gaddafi in Libya in 2001. Six, what has recently eroded Republican support of the NATO alliance? A, White House criticism of the alliance. Seven, how long is the NATO Secretary General's term of office? C, four years. Eight, NATO works with over blank, non-member, and other outside organizations. Four, D40. Nine, once the Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany, was permitted to join NATO in 1955, the Soviet Union formed its own regional alliance with seven Central and Eastern European countries. It was called the Warsaw Pact. And 10, from 1949 to 1989, what was the main purpose of NATO? B, deter the Soviet Union. Here for the next category. All right, introduce yourself, and you've got category five. Read the question and only the answer. Okay, and the page is on the next one. Yeah, okay. I'm Pranav Pata Datu Naduville, and I'm from Jasper High School. So, for category five, great decisions. The first question. What was Turkey's main objection to U.S. funding for the Syrian Democratic Party or Democratic Union Party in 2017? And the answer is C. The PYD is a part of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, which Turkey classifies as a terrorist group. Second, which of the following is not a territorial dispute that has occurred during Russian President Vladimir Putin's time in office? And the answer is D. Baku, Azerbaijan. The third question is Nelson Mandela, considered one of the most respected world figures of the 20th century, was a member of which political party that has ruled South Africa since his 1994 presidential inauguration? The answer is C, African National Congress. Four, in July 2017, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Microsoft, Google, and Space, uh, Snapchat started the Global Internet Forum to counter what? Terrorism, B. Five, what era has the world recently entered according to a former Chinese vice minister of foreign affairs, which is A, post-American era? Six, there are many examples of documented health disparities between rich and poor countries. How many years is the gap in life expectancies between Japan and Sudan? The answer is D, 34 years. Seven, Political scientist Joseph Nye coined what term to describe a country's capacity to influence another without military force? The answer is B, soft power. Eight, in a July 2017 poll, what percentage of Turkey's population believed the United States was the number one security threat? The answer is D, 72%. 
Nine is what is the name for the foreign policy strategy regarding military power that the Obama administration articulated in its 2015 national security strategy? The answer is B, strategic patience. 10, in hopes of establishing itself as a regional economic player in Europe, Russia created what body? The answer is the Eurasian Economic Union, or EEU. Volunteer for the next category. Young lady right there. Yep, come on up. Start from right here, the question and the letter and the answer, and just flip the pages. Oh, hi. Hello, everyone. Oh, that's loud. Uh, my name is Salma Kuba, and I'm from Princess Anne High School in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. So, starting off with um, Category 6, uh, U.S. Japan Alliance. Number one, despite Trump's 2016 campaign attacks on the cost of basing U.S. troops in Japan, American uh, public opinion supports these long-term bases. Japan in 2015 paid blank in host nation support, representing blank of total basing um, costs. The correct answer is D, uh, 100, $191 billion at um, 86%. Number two. Regarding trade policy, the difference in emphasis between statements made by President Trump and Prime Minister Abe in September 2018 can best be summarized as A, reciprocal trade versus free rules-based trade. Number three, Japan passed new security laws in 2015 allowing its self-defense forces to exercise collective self-defense in which of the following scenarios? The correct answer is C, intercepting ballistic missiles targeting the U.S. and U.S. bases in the Pacific Theater. Number four, in February 2017, President Trump and President Minister Abe affirmed that the U.S.-Japan Treaty of Mutual Cooperation and Security covers which island chain claimed by Japan? The correct answer is C, the Sanaku um, Islands. Uh, number five, which market has been identified as the real target and the launching stage of the government-sponsored Cool Japan movement? The correct answer is B, Southeast Asia. Number six, Prime Minister um, Shinsu Abe's um, economics uh, reforms have produced modest economic growth in all of the following areas except D, consumer spending. Number seven, Japan's leadership in the new comprehensive and pro um, progressive agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership seeks to ensure that a blank, blank, and blank economic order is upheld in advance. The correct answer is A, rules-based, high-standard, liberal. Number eight, which two, uh, which two issues are priorities for the Japanese public according to the Kyoto News Survey after September 2018 re-election of Shinzo Abe? The correct answer is B, pensions and health care and economic policies. Number nine, how many years after the end of World War II did it take for the United States to sign the Civil Liberties Act, uh, which issued a formal apology to Japanese Americans placed in internment camps? The correct answer is C, 43 years. Number 10, Justice Hugo Black, in his majority opinion for the landmark case, uh, Korematsu versus United States wrote all legal restrictions which curtail the civil uh, rights of a single racial group are D immediately suspect. Thank you. Volunteer. Gentleman back right there. Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming up. Yeah. Okay, introduce yourself and then uh, start here. Space question space. one, the question, the letter, and the answer. Yes. Uh, hello, guys. My name is Ryan Lasluji, and I'm uh, from Cumberland Valley High School in Pennsylvania, which is there. Uh, category seven. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right, Houston, we have a problem. All right, thank you. Uh, category seven, space policy. Uh, which is not one of the four pillars of President Trump's national space policy? Uh, a, transform to deter to more resilient space architectures. Uh, B, strengthen deterrence and war fighting options. C, foster friendly domestic and international environments. And the answer is D, build trust and legitimacy in U.S. space policy. You can just read the 
Okay, I'll just read the answer from now on. So. No rush. The idea of military force dedicated uh, to outer space was first proposed by Military Reform Commission led by A. Uh, Donald Rumsfeld. Flip it over. Yeah. All right, three. Conventional satellites transmit information via radio and microwave signals. What Chinese satellite launched in 2016 was the first to be equipped with uh, quantum capabilities that could one day transfer encrypted hack-proof data? The answer is C, uh, MISIS satellite. Did I say that right? Yep. I hope I did. Okay. Four, according to the UN Committee on Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, how much of the global space economy is made up of commercial space activities? The answer is C, 76%. Now it's five. Five, Russia-U.S. cooperation on the ISS is hindered by systematic obstruction, such as Russia's aggressive space policy toward its neighbors, and the answer is uh, B, declining status of Russia's space industry. Number six, uh, the EU's second flagship space program, uh, Copernicus, is used to provide blank and blank. The answer is A, geospatial and early warning information. All right, seven. Uh, while the idea of creating a, spa a Space Force branch drew attention and uh, excitement, U.S. military presence in space is already handled by what branch of the armed forces? And answer is D, Air Force. All right, I'm sorry. Eight. Which of the following billionaires has not expressed interest in investing uh, in the space industry and travel? The answer is B, Mark Zuckerberg. All right. Nine? Nine? Yeah, approximately how, ooh, approximately how much would it cost to fund both the Space Force and Space Command over the next few years? The answer is C, $13 billion. And finally, 10? Uh, which country sent the first human in space? And the answer is the Soviet Union. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thank you uh, to everyone who came up and read uh, questions. We appreciate uh, that. Uh, we're now going to take a break, and we're going to we're running short on time, uh, so we're going to take a five minute break. And unless you need to depart the competition area, I suggest you stay in place, just stretch. Uh, again, uh, be back in your seats in five minutes. This also opens the challenge period. If you have a challenge, any question in round two. Five minutes from now, please be back in your seats promptly at five minutes.